Well, hello everybody, welcome back to episode 377 of Miles Play Pillars of Eternity. I'm Toby and I'm looking for a bloody bird. Okay. That's that's the temple. It's supposed to be near temples. That's also a sort of temple, and this is where I met him. This is a temple, right? So would there be a bird here? Guys, you have a birdie? Chant a name down the told me he could restore the district with his song as if I found some sort of birds to eat. She sneers. And if you, if he told you that you could jump off Marden Bridge and sprout wings, would you believe that? I didn't believe it. I think it's stupid. Foolish superstition and nothing more. The queen of the birds blessed us with her tendies, tendons so that we can hear their songs, not eat their flesh. She raises an eyebrow at you. Or do you from the dead fire I could eat their teachers who are rough bunch also i've heard so treat me like an idiot he's the one who said it he's one of your people so in that sense that makes you look like the idiots i didn't say i believed him and i don't i was also sacred to the goddess something else you wish to speak of what do you do now we'll continue to worship hella as we always have as much as we treasured the nest as a legacy of the builders was only a place he raises his hands we still have the sky above us as much now as ever and who knows perhaps they shall reach even more of her devotees so you don't have a bird so i'd like to convince him not to eat them but i don't know how he said near a temple so i think that just had the tree that i've not been there yet and there's no temples there there was that big soul thing. Was that there or there? Ah, it could be there. Maybe that's the temple they're talking about. Do you around here looks like a temple? I would have thought that was the temple, but... Would you class this as a temple? I'm just going to run around and have a look. I'm trying to hold tab to see if anything flashes blue. Like with the first bird. Oh, seriously? What the hell? That was really fast. Oh, here's some blue stuff. Birdie? No. Birdie? No. No. Ooh. This almost feels like home. Does it? That's a temple. Would it be inside there, maybe? Can I? No, quick look on these. Chill over for her. Ah, went too fast. Draining the air. Can I do this one? Birdies, birdie, come on, tweet, tweet, come on, birdie, tweety, tweety. Yeah, it's gonna have some more. That's probably just a thing when he's late. Look at the birds for her. Tweety, oh, yeah, something that's not bird stuff. Tweety, tweety. Why did I pick that up earlier? I remember seeing that earlier. Maybe, maybe you get new options to talk to them and that person about the bird. Many blessings, traveler. I have this bird. Spoke with Leza, she said, eating his own was his super Ah, I will help you eat Nice. So I go on it and he forms me. You're chasing a mere superstition with his own birds. What? I haven't said that? Down's jaw clenched shut as he folds his arms with a huff. But what of all the other chanters that told me otherwise? Sure that every chanter that told you this story also dreamed of a quick and easy path to excellence. Okay, well, all it says, make your own sit now. Browns but nods at you, his body slumping. Guess it does. Sounds like wishful thinking when you put it that way. He lets out a long sigh and ends it with a shrug. Thank you for setting me straight. Yes, he's not going to eat him. Woohoo! On this, I feel silly for having asked if it. Yes, and you are silly. Be even silly if you ate one of them. Gotta stop one second. My phone's ringing. Back in a sec. Power Edison. Dalmo frowns but nods at you, his body slumping. Guess it does sound like wishful thinking when you put it that way. He lets out a long sigh that ends with a shrug. Thank you for setting me straight on this. I feel silly for having asked in the first place. Thank you, my friend. I don't need rare songbirds. I just need to find some inspiration from within. He bows to you with a painted smile. If you pardon me, I should stop delaying and write a new song. Okay. So he's not going to eat birds now. Beautiful. What's my mouse? Oh. Oh, so we could walk off, I guess. 
and returned. Okay, good, good. Look at that later. Let me save the game. I've traveled thousands of miles on Valian trading ships, but never seen the shores of Nasitak. How did you find your way on your own, Sagani? Well, it has taken five years, but Itamak never wants to ask for directions. Perhaps you should take over as navigator in the future. Like I always say, blame it on the fox. Wow. Alrighty then, okay. I have to cut away then and... Uh, this episode's been split. Uh, a quick rundown three or four days ago. Last time I was doing this episode. I don't normally stop between episodes like this, but... Basically, I got a phone call. Uh, I had to go upstairs. And my dog, Mary Jane, she had something in her eye. And we were trying to rinse it out. And basically, the whole night went. We ended up trying to find a 24-hour vet that apparently none, even though they say 24 hours, aren't open. And in the end, we managed to get her in at about 8 in the morning. So I think I came back and I even tried to carry on with the episode. I think the last bit you heard, that minute where I just read the thing because I can't save in that. I think I sounded super depressed in that. That's the reason why. So I was like, yeah, do you remember? Because I just wanted to get it read. I tried a bit before it to read it and just explain everything. I just, oh, I just went to pot. I was like, oh, man, I can't do this. So I read that quick, saved and came off. And then, like I said, we rushed her to the vet. And apparently she's got an ulcer on her eye. And it said she'd make a full recovery, but we have to give her drops. Uh, like a drop in the eye on top of some lube in the eye, what's apparently, you know, vet stuff, and these little two pills up until we go Friday, what's basically tomorrow. Um, so we have to, de have to deal with that all week, and she hates it. She is the nicest dog you ever met. Like, she, she's, she basically doesn't nip you or nothing. Well, when it came to going near her eye, it must be in pain. She's actually started trying to nip because of it. So we had to put a muzzle on her and get what I hate doing. Even when you put it on it, she's really good. Let's the first drop go in, perfect. And then when you come for the second, the lube, she goes apes your word, basically. Banana, she's booking and everything. I've got nutted in the head, well, in the face because of it, so I've got to kind of look away while she was if he's trying to put it on her. Ugh, it's horrible. And we've got to do this six, every six hours until Friday, and we have another appointment with the vet at, what's four o'clock, they moved it down to two, what's better? Um... So we have to go there and have fingers crossed we get there they're going to say, yep, she's fine, she doesn't need her stuff anymore. Maybe just give her a day of normal thingy, stop putting it in and she'll be perfect. Fingers crossed. But yeah, it's basically, with, all this, with that, that, that and something else happened, put more personal. It, this week has just been horrible ever since I was trying to do this episode. So, I believe we've got about ten minutes left of this episode, so... Um... Not a problem. It's a little annoying because normally I, I do the start of the episode like, what was I doing before? This is between the episode. Basically, we, we had a chat with that person. I think we convinced him not to eat the birds, if I'm not mistaken. What was good? Oh, so if he apparently needs to level, so we'll do that quick. Alright, then. I've been focused on survival for you, it seems, so we'll keep that going. Okay, wound and shot. So anything that helps your pet? Uh, Will help you run to keep us a that maybe grant a bonus to all defenses against disengagement attacks. Okay, go with that. Oh, because obviously, when we get in trouble, she just won't get us out of the situation. Alrighty then. So, what the let the fang storm. So, what was I doing? Basically, I was sorting the birds out, I found one bird, went to him. Convince him not to eat it, what's good. And what I, what else was I doing? Oh, before the birds, I was, I was going to go there, but I was checking all this area first, wasn't I? Yeah, because I was supposed to get some from there. Because we helped with the hunt. And we ran into him as we were checking this out, weren't we? That's what we were doing. Our goal is to end up here. And I believe that's going to take us to the burnt aisle, but right now we should check everything here. And go in there. So I finished down here, we finished with him, so that's good. So I guess we'll finish episode doing that. Now. Don't need to heal sneaky sneaky. That's the way to do the place. I just want to walk away. I, yeah, well, I think we went up there. We really checked that, didn't we? It's probably through a loop, though, doing that between it. And like, this week has been awful. My plan was, as you know, I'm trying to get a lot done before October. And I've already stated it's probably going to go past October at this point. 
Um, I was trying to coincide with something else personal happening, what I don't want to talk about yet. Plus, I was moving the house in December. As you know, the house is now pushed to January, February. What sucks? It's kind of screwed and messed everything up. Now I need to do even more of these. Originally, I had four months of these to, to finish recording. Now it goes to six. And my plan was this week to do three to four months, you know, of these episodes this week. Well, this is still month one. But at this point, because it's Friday tomorrow when a new event is. So again, we had to go out a lot more this week than I planned. Uh, because of this event and stuff. So I've got to try to finish this off. Some of these episodes tonight. Just finished my IWD for the week. Even though I've got to go over it with Super Little Tiffy with the announcing. Uh, so finish some of these uh, tonight. And then hopefully tomorrow to the vet. Finish the month's worth. So I've got one month ahead. Took a week to do a month. And then hopefully I could squeeze some more in before Saturday or on Saturday. Maybe get two months done. And then next week that would leave me with four months to do to get back on track. What's well, probably not going to happen because we got double appointments next week for something else. And uh... But anyway, we'll see how it, go how it goes. At least want to get a month done for this week and hopefully next month, two months, if I can't do it four, but we'll see. Well, actually, if I only do one month this week, then I need to do five next month or it's going to the following week. If you see what I'm saying. But obviously, I still have other stuff in the channel. I still have to keep up. I'm trying to do an IWD once a week. Uh, we have Spellforce as of recording this. I believe it's up all next week and the week after. And then obviously, that's when I move into Warhammer. Obviously, you would have hopefully by now already watching me do Warhammer because of I believe this episode's December's going up. So, just a lot of that right now. I'm instructing Aswan, what do you need? Nothing, farewell. <laughs> I didn't need nothing from you, apparently. Okay, it's about four minutes. Okay, that's what, that's the correct uh, get to leave. So is there anything up here we need to do before going that thing? So I feel we won't see another council gathering until next season. Words are empty without strength to back them up. That's nothing new. Make yourself useful, you're within the heath now. You speak like a fisher, crane, quick and clever. Oh, thank you. I think. So I think we had a quick glance at... Oh yeah, we took that, didn't we? And we didn't go in there yet. Was there anything up here we needed? That's a passive. Oh, that's in the dragon place. That's the, the thing up to there, so we've been up there. So we found that bird. Okay, so let's check out this place. And then there. Uh, if it's time, if not, that'll be next episode. Yeah, because I remember clicking that and this wouldn't work for some reason, would it? I don't know why. Let's go be down there for it to work. We go in here. And again, I'm a bit mixed up with the time now. I think we're four minutes in, five minutes before. Now, I just I accidentally reset the timer and it's on seven at the moment. So I'm reckoning, get that to ten and we're done in 15 minutes. But we'll see. We'll see. So if, that, if that's right, we've got about three minutes. So if I'm at like 30 seconds or a minute out or, or, or you know... Head or behind, I apologise. That's basically because of all the messing around and so. Uh, I am hoping in these six months worth of these episodes, I will have pillars finished. And then I can move on and start doing Elix again and finish that off, but we'll see. Oh, that, that. I should have clicked that. That's prison something. What was that for? Uh, it's in the pit of the burial. What was that for? Here. Find Alwa. Went to the temple no fast looking for answers. She hasn't received. Oh, yeah, somebody asked for about that, didn't they? What was that about again? The lake in Elland has become freezing over since the arrival of a group of pale elves. I remember asked, being asked by that, but I can't remember who asked me. Again, like I said, three or four days since I was doing this, and in between the episodes, ah, oh, just been murdered this week. A uh, member of the Fang sent her sister. Fangs, Fangs. I should forgot who you are. I remember you giving it me. <laughs> I cannot think the life of me who you are, though. Probably establish a presence here. If they're responsible for Alan's disappearance, I doubt they admit it as much. They'd be able to track her down. Okay, I guess we'll keep going this way. Just this. say the word. Oh, that's reasonably big. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Well, that's a good gel, or best gel. The pale elf searches you with ice blue eyes. She shifts and knits her fingers together. Welcome to Nornfrost. No, nude, nude. No, no, not nude. Noon, Noonfrost. Noonfrost. Most of the temple is currently closed for sacred ceremonies to rhyme grind. Rhyme again. She forces a smile and waves to the eastern doorway. Naughty elephants. Oh, so she's basically telling us, also this closed now. Beat it. The shrine is t to your right. 
You're welcome to make your offerings to Rhyme Grind there, but the rest of the temple is off limits. Ah, so in other words, we get in trouble if we start sneaking around. Seems the cold has spread from Norfrost. Valsa, she stiffens. Rhyme Grind is the god of winter. It's been many years since his temple was attended, so there's nothing strange about a little chill around the place now. She lowers her head. If it bothers you, then perhaps you should go. Her eyes dart between the two doors on either side of the room. If that's all, tell me about Rhyme Grind. He's the god of code and entropy and collapse. Collapse? I'm going to be god of collapse. I reading that right? God of Collapse. Many see him as a harsh god, but few recognise that he also gives life to his own in his own way. All things wind to a merciful end in his shadow, only to feed, only to feed creation elsewhere. She frowns, gnawing her lip. But he is silent god, and this ways are mysterious. To follow him is to accept inevitability without explanation. Okay. In the, this matter, and in the legacy, it seems the gods are often silent when we most crave guidance. Why is most of the temple closed? I think he's explained that, because it wasn't the time of worshipping or something. As I said, we're in the middle of a sacred ceremony. Yeah, that's basically what I was getting at. She incites carefully. They are rather complex, and we don't permit outsiders to witness them. Probably sacrificing the person we're probably looking for, more than likely. She glances at the elves over her shoulder. Others of my clan get rather touchy about them, which is why you should visit the shrine and take your leave. What are you doing here? <laughs> Apparently stopping us getting in. And we're at 11 minutes of my thingy, so uh, we'll finish this off, then we'll stop. So I think this should go over to 15 minutes. Thus, Jill, my clan journeyed from the white that weds to pay homage to Rhyme Brine here at Noonfrost. We learned that this place uh, had been abandoned for several years, and we felt it is our duty to tend to one of our god's oldest temples. She rolls her sword, sh 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 her shoulders back. It has been a long journey, but Rhyme Grind demands endurance, no doubt. He will reward us for hours. Saga's mouth is set in a grim frown. I hope it is. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day. And with that being said, we will save the episode here. And like and subscribe. And see you next time. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.